All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Iron Man 3 Star Boost armor. And this is MMS 214. And this is how the packaging looks from the front. And on the back, nothing really spectacular. So let's take a look at the figure and all the accessories. And here we have Star Boost outside of packaging. And uh, here you see a figure. He comes with the base. And we have a mask and a couple of hands, and that's it. That's all the accessories that it comes with. And uh, let's take a closer look at them first. So here we have the light up uh, face mask. The other one uh, has the uh, has his eyes covered up uh, on go, so you don't really get to see the light up feature on that one. And here's the rest of the armor. It is very impressive, very unique, definitely different than uh, your usual uh, Iron Man armor uh, with all the honeycomb shape uh, pattern on him and uh, all the these two thrusters and uh, it's really really nice. Uh, initially I wasn't planning on getting this guy because of the the design. Uh, the more I looked at it, the more I like it. Uh, it's very unique, very different. And uh, yeah, and uh, they uh, they did some modification to uh, this Iron Man, uh, especially around the the, the hips area. Um, uh, these two flaps now they are um, spring loaded, so uh, when you move the hips, it'll move along with it. And uh, if you move the arm, uh, the legs back, and uh, it will just spring back, spring back uh, into shape. And, uh, yeah, very cool looking armor. So let's uh, show you the light up features. And in order to gain access to the light switch, you would have to pry his helmet, well, his face mask, uh, open uh, from the back. You just need to pry it up. And then this thing will come off and uh, uh, it does take a lot of force to open this thing up and uh, there's a switch right there and there's the battery compartment and in order to light up his chest and boosters uh, you will need to remove this panel and it's, uh, it's really hard to remove this thing uh, you really gotta pry it open uh, from the bottom up and there's the on off switch and then for the arms, right here on the forearm section, there's the battery panel and the switch is also located there. Alright, here you see Star Boost all lit up. Uh, the eyes, they're really bright. And the chest and the, and the hand, right there. And on the back, quite a nice surprise. The boosters and the thrusters also lit up. Love it. And here's the other face mask he has. And uh, let's take a closer look. At the armor itself, and uh, I have seen a lot of um, defects on, the, especially for this armor. Uh, you can see on the shoulder pad here. There's a little, little minor pain bleed. It's uh, on the on the white section. Yeah, there are a lot of those uh, on other ones that I have seen, and. Uh, so you got to really, really look at this armor. There's the arc reactor. The abdominal area. And these panels are, are, um, are stacked together. So it will allow him to move around a little bit more. And then the spine, you can see those two flaps there, they are uh, movable. And again, the, these two panels around the hips. The rest of them. And 
And then there's a new articulation around the shoulder area where his arms could actually swing forward now. So now you can see uh, Iron Man could do a sonic blast on you, uh, like a Vegeta. And, uh, all because they added this articulation where his arm could swing forward now. Which is a very, very impressive addition. And uh, I'll let's take a look at the back side of him. It's got a lot of nice detailing going on. Backside too, especially around the legs, with all the boosters and stuff like that. Really nice. And here you kind of have him doing a, a flight pose like that, shooting someone from above. Kind of neat. And uh, so yeah, um, the art added articulation uh, is mainly just the shoulder and the hips area uh, where you could actually pull down the leg a little bit as well, uh, just like the SH uh, figure arts uh, uh, toys. Um, those could uh, do the same thing and this one could as well. And then the abdominal area you could um, uh, pull the figure up a little bit to uh, to give him a better range of motion so like all the other Iron Man figures and uh, everything else is uh, your pretty standard uh, Hot Toys articulation nothing really special about it but uh, yeah there it is highly recommend this thing um, this thing retails about 270 I believe and uh, yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a very very impressive piece uh, unique and uh, uh, so yeah uh, even if they oh, I, I don't think they made a, a repaint version of this guy in the in the, in the uh, house party protocol but uh, if they do have a repaint version of this one I, I wouldn't mind getting it because uh, the armor is just so pretty so uh, so nice and uh, uh, all, the, all, the, all the engineering that went into this one is uh, pretty impressive. Alright, and here was one last pose. He's doing this little dance here. Yeah, you can see the abdominal area. Uh, flexibility on him is uh, pretty good. So yeah, highly recommend this thing. Uh, so yeah, if you could afford it, definitely go get it. Uh, yeah, here you go. I'm in three Starboost by Hot Toys. Thanks for watching.